stage, Hex 26. Kevin Jusay's head coach, City Kickboxing, UG Bearman. Mate, can you put into words what it is like to see Kevin finally get two belts? Yeah, no, Kevin's, uh, yeah, I mean, Kevin's a world-class fighter. Um, what Kevin's been dealing with is just... Um, he's been dealing with his performances when it really counts, and he's we've been doing a lot of work on, a lot of mental work, and uh, obviously all the skill work, but the mental work. And uh, today he was able to pull it off and uh, kind of meet some of the stuff that we've been working on. Now, you're a bit of a game plan man. Coming in and obviously the, the fight now happening, is that how you drew it up in your head? Uh, I'll, that 50-50, 50-50. Um, obviously, Kit is a very experienced fighter and a very good fighter, and uh, he did a couple of things um, uh, that were good for him, um, and Kevin wasn't able to uh, answer them the way that we wanted to him, but we, that's the great thing about when the fight goes, it goes longer and longer. We get more time with Kevin, and we get to adjust. So, um, uh, Kit did really, really well. It was uh, They could have easily... Um, gone a different way, had a couple of positions changed um, for Kit, so... And when Kevin first walked into the gym, to seeing him now hold two belts, how much has he, how much have you seen him adjust? Uh, I mean, well, Kevin, uh, Kevin came to our gym primarily to work on um, his stand-up, but also to put some of his judo and his groundwork to... Um, to order it a little bit more, it didn't really have the order that it needed to, so we just provided that. Massive improvement, massive improvement. Kevin's got some goals that he would, uh, would like to achieve in the sport, so um, in my gym we just do everything we can to help, you, get, help well, you achieve those goals. Well, that's the thing I just wanted to ask you, one, one final question. How far away is, is Kevin, do you say, to that next level, to that, that UFC level? Oh, look, if Kevin um, performs like that, goes through a bit of adversity and answers it like that, uh, he can fight the best guys in the world, uh, you know, next weekend if, if, if we get the call up. Um, I'm sure Kevin's, um, you know, he's knocking on the door of at least getting in the contenders and having a shot. And uh, I just wanted one, one last little question, uh, one, one personal question. You started as a coach. Uh, you've obviously built up, uh, whether you like it or not, some fame. Uh, does, does it affect your ability to coach at all? Do you get sort of, is it too much attention where sometimes you just want to focus on the coaching? That's a, or do you like the fame? That's a bloody good question. No, I mean, I, I try not to let it... I, I don't let it really affect me. It is what it is. I, I, I appreciate... I appreciate where the sport is. And if people come and recognise a coach who's not meant to be the centre of attention, uh, I, I appreciate it. It's where the sport's going, and it's good for the sport. Uh, I'm neither here nor there. I, I show some love back to the people that are kind and nice, and I, yeah, it doesn't. I don't think I try not to let it affect me. Well, I, I'm actually. I promise you, this is the last question. I just never thought I was actually ever going to get you. But after it's all said and done, uh, how does Eugene Bedman want to be remembered in mixed martial arts? Uh, just uh, man, just a whole lot of uh, just just a guy that um, uh, tried to, tried his very best to help some of these young guys achieve their goals and. Uh, put everything on the line for them just as they do in the cage. Awesome, mate. Um, everyone speaks so so highly of you and thank you for taking the time and congratulations. Thanks, brother.